Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. We're at the Corona Airport today and uh, waiting for my friend Sammy to arrive. I thought I'll give you uh, a little uh, tour of the Corona Airport. This is the main pump at the Corona Airport. There is also another pump to the west. You guys can see it. It's red color in the middle there. And these are the uh, west pointing hangars. These are the uh, tanks for the fuel tie downs. There is also something very popular here in Corona that's called the bench. Let's go talk to the guys over there, see what they're doing. It's been around for a while, yeah. Well, hello, Michael. Great yeah. seeing you. You're you're on a, you're on the video, so you can't help it. But, good uh, afternoon, uh, yeah. Elias. There you go. It's always good to see you. Every time I look at you here and I see you, whether you're working on a plane, flying a plane, I'm always thinking Catalina. Yes. Remember when David Quinner, you know, used to fly there and work with you quite a bit. One time he goes, do me a favor. I have to take something to my friend Michael. I said, who's Michael? He goes, he runs the uh, Unicom over at Catalina. Yeah, yeah. Said, Great. So I know you're busy. You're doing some things. Oh, on just the changing a little oil. Down. Gonna head to Catalina and get a buffalo burger here in a little bit. Tell us a little bit, just to briefly, about the Catalina, the islands, the airport, what pilots can do when they get there. Yeah. What are the fees for the landing fees and what are the fees if you want to take a shuttle? Yeah, you know, the actual fees right now, I'm actually unaware of. I think they brought them up a little bit just post pandemic. But what I've got is. Uh, um, $35 maybe. Oh, it's $35 now for a landing. Okay, yep. I've been reminded. Well, I I belong to their Aero Club, which okay. uh, myself yep. and a gentleman named Craig Ryan started it, uh, oh, it's been, I'd say, 15 years ago okay. now. And so it's a flat rate, $150 a year, unlimited landings. And uh, that if you fly or you have a cabin, that would be a much uh, more cost effective option for yes. pilots? Yes. If you go over there on a you know divide 35 into 150 and the math is pretty good if you yeah. like to go over there mm -hmm. how and about uh, the shuttle is there a scheduled sh shuttle every it's day? got a scheduled shuttle that uh they, they leave and they go to avalon at, okay uh, that's the main island yes yes that is uh the main town on the island okay they go uh, I mean, that's the main town every two right. hours from the airport and you can check online under Catalina okay. Conservancy Airport in the Sky. But uh, I recommend it for the food. If you go on a, on a regular basis, they've got a great cafe. Yep. One benefit they have, though, is if you like to cook yourself, if you're a member of the Aero Club, you can use the barbecue in the camping area. It's $15 oh, nice. a night to camp. Oh, nice. But okay. you can um, actually use the barbecue, cook your own hamburgers, have, have uh, your friends come in and uh, join you. And it really is just uh, fantastic. So it's event. great uh, for weekends, you know, you can do the camping, yeah. $15 is nothing. I mean, the $35 the... landing fee, yes. you know, it's a, if you're spending the night or if it's the first time, it's really worth it. It truly is. You, you can, uh, to camp there, it's probably one of the best campgrounds yes. in the entire, and is it the on the plateau west. on top for the camping where you can actually have the view of the ocean? You've got the view of the ocean. It's uh, probably the best view on the island. Okay. And there you have it. Uh, How about the uh, the food there? What do you recommend besides, you said the buffalo burger is one of the... Uh, you know, the buffalo based food, they've got a buffalo stew that I think they make in the winter. Okay. But buffalo tacos are shredded. Oh, buffalo. Okay. Shredded. So, Bison. Did you Probably hear the best value for the money? Uh, the taco. So I don't remember what the menu price is. So the, the shredded menu. buffalo tacos. Did you guys shredded hear that? Buffalo meat. Put it tacos. on the list. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. It's yeah. gonna be on my in my bucket list. Yeah. So well, thank you so much, Michael. My pleasure. I really appreciate the time, and so hopefully this will be posted the next forty-eight hours if you'd like to see it. Good. And you guys, uh, like I said, Michael has been a at the island for how long? Mm, since I was a kid. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, I lived, grew up in Long Beach. And you, and, yeah, uh, and you fly dad. there regularly every yeah. Grandparents five times, had a place times over a week. There and uh, 
So yeah, it's kind of right. gotten into the DNA in the and, family. So. And you worked at the Unicom and yes. the tower. Okay, that is no tower, it's the Unicom. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> well, uh, hey guys, this is my friend, Sammy. He's, he's definitely a future pilot. I know he's taking flight lessons. I'm very passionate about it. He's been reading a lot. And uh, tell us a little bit about your passion with aviation. When did it start and what's your goal? Uh, okay, I've had a goal since I was very little to uh, get my pilot's license, and I have taken I've taken classes uh, at, in Palmer College, and I've taken exams. And uh, what kind of uh, classes did you take? I took my uh, weather class and okay. um, um, grounds, aviation related weather classes. Grounds, okay. grounds control at a community college. Yes. Okay. Yes, and I started flying at Palomar uh, Palma Airport, and I'm flying. Palomar. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we've had several uh, flights together with Sammy. Yeah. And so your passion started early. It started very early. Yeah. And so, what's your uh, next step? What do you want to see yourself doing in aviation? What are you doing uh, about it to get there? Is to build up my experience and uh, my hours and get my private pilot license. Okay, uh, great. My goal is to do that in the next year or so. So today we will be uh, flying yeah. from a Corona Airport to El Mani's short flight at maybe 12 to 14 minutes. And then we're going to do, so this is a Fly for Food channel. We're definitely going to go and try yeah, their food there. I've been there several times, but we'll uh, see if they have anything new on the menu so we can share with our colleagues and friends aviation enthusiasts and other people who appreciate uh, these kind of things okay yeah. let's go So this is our checklist for the Piper Dakota P828-236. We are in a run-up area. We have the brakes are set. And uh, fuel on the proper tank checked with trim for takeoff. Electric well trim. Uh, flight control, watch your legs coming up. Checking the ailerons, free movement. Up and down rudder. Checking the flaps. One, two, three. Two, three. Checking the instrument panel. Three zero on the gyro. I have the uh, flight plan. Like we've got the uh, Corona traffic morning six nine zero five November crossing midfield two five. Engine is warm. Turkey six turning left crossing uh, for uh, left uh, wind departure to the south. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, GPS set to KEMT. Corona traffic, uh, Cherokee 66 Whiskey departing to the south. San Gabriel Valley, El Monte. And then one here too, so we have another Corona one. Corona traffic, Cessna 765, expect departing runway 25 via left departure towards Lake Matthews, correct? Okay. That's it. Corona traffic Dakota 29610 will take an active 25 waiting for the money to empty the runway. Okay, good. Corona traffic, white brown Cessna uh, making left. Uh, head downwind along the uh, 91 front traffic. Corona traffic, money 6905 November, clear runway to five. Corona. Okay, we have snaps up. Speed is alive, 60. 70 rotate, slowly. Very good. Positive rate of flying, landing right front. Delta Tango, taking off runway 25, northbound departure corona. Oh, 500 feet. 
flaps are coming up. And we are doing about a thousand foot a minute, or a thousand feet up. Hold on, driving the quarter to nine six one zero, one thousand feet up and turning left plus wind. Okay, so we are on left crosswind. That's the 91 freeway over there. We're gonna square the traffic pattern. Come on, Travis Dakota, 29610, turning left downwind, climbing out of 1,500, and I'm gonna get uh, to the midfield and then cross midfield to the north northwest. All right, so we are on left downwind. Seven zero zero, Mike. Mike, have a good day. Cross approved for the What are you? Uh, what are you thinking about eating at the restaurant? Oh, there's a, a cafe there. We'll check it out. Let me talk to the tower first. Uh, Mike, good afternoon. Dakota two nine six one zero with golf. With eight miles from the east and down descending over two thousand seven hundred. Go to 29610, Monday Tower, enter left, base over the 210, I'll call you turn the funnel. Quick be number 4, following a meridian, departing the runway. Okay, we'll follow the 210, left, base number 4, and we'll wait for your call. Radio 4, Papa Mike, left at Echo, contact ground. Monty Tower, Diamond Star, 387 Lima Alpha is off at the ORL, but with Golf. Diamond Star, 387 Lima Alpha, Monty Tower, safe flight conditions, report built in sight. Uh, it's hazy, but I'm out of the clouds now, 7 Lima Alpha, I can cancel uh, my IFR. Diamond Star, 387 Lima Alpha, I understand you want to cancel IFR? Affirmative, uh, cancel IFR, 7 Lima Alpha. Diamond Star, 7 Lima Alpha, IFR cancellation received, remain on your current code. Crossman field circle west of the airport for right downwind to runway 19. All right, so I was uh, across the runway and circles to the west for uh, one nine or seven. So we just Base landed, we have the meridian that we were following. Base one nine or seven. I was doing S turns because uh, we were so close, and I want to give him a Five chance seven, Victor, two, seven, to uh, land. And uh, so it worked out perfect. Okay. Six one zero. Six one zero. Uh, well, Sammy, uh, we are at El Monte Airport. Um, it was a little hazy today, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, not the best sceneries in the world. This but, morning uh, we had an overcast. But it was overcast, overcast, and the clouds are burning off. It looks like I call these cumulus bumpers. Whenever you see this in the clouds, definitely 100% it's going to be bumpy. You get a lot of hot clouds. You could feel it on the ground, too. Now, this plane is a uh, Cessna 172 Johns plane. It's very clean. I like it. It's a light sport aircraft. The one behind it is a Cirrus, the silver one. And that's the uh, El Monte Airport, San Gabriel. Okay, for you, amigo, what are you going to have? Uh, yeah, can I, can I please have that double cheeseburger? A double cheeseburger? Yes, yes it does. Uh, any onions? Uh, grilled onions. Grilled onions? And, uh, and are you okay with lettuce, tomato, pickles? Yeah. Are they above? Okay. And then uh, fries or onion rings? Yeah, can I get like well done fries? Fries well done, you got it. All right, for you, sir, over here? the fiesta salad fiesta salad okay um can I, what dressings do you have though? uh I usually, I usually come to the ranch but your choice you can have it dry some dressing on the side of your choice um, or, yeah let's uh, do a fiesta salad with uh do you have like some blue cheese and yeah, italian sure. let me get some blue cheese and italian so on we'll, the we'll side. get it dry and I'll, and I'll bring it on the side okay okay yeah so you I said uh blue those. cheese and italian on the side perfect are right, you got it research over here okay well um i'm gonna have the uh machaca which one 
the machaca? Machaca, are you okay with the rice what's and beans? In the, what's in the machaca? So the machaca is a shredded, uh, shredded beef, uh, onions, tomato, and bell pepper, all scrambled together. And you're on a video, what's your name? Okay, AB. Okay, I'm uh, gonna have you on the, uh, the channel. Okay, cool. So, hope you don't mind. No, no, and, not at all. Uh, I'm gonna have that with, what was the option? Uh, you get a choice of uh, put, uh, uh, rice and beans, but then you can switch one for potatoes or hash browns. A lot of people do potatoes and beans, potatoes and hash browns. The home potatoes? Yes, the home well potatoes. Well done? Yes, well done. And what else? And uh, beans or rice. Uh, beans, please. So we do home potatoes and beans, okay? Yeah, well done on the beans. Well on the done potatoes. on the potatoes. Yeah. You got it. And then you get uh, um, a choice of tortillas, flour, or flour tortilla. Flour tortilla. You got it. And water. And a water for you. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. You're welcome. Can you keep this for me, please? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, keep it up. Tortillas. Thank you. You're welcome. And I had. Uh, so this is the machaca. Can I get some? Uh, uh, and you had what salad did you have? But uh, Chicken salad? Yeah, Mexican salad. Mexican salad. Mexican salad. And Sam, what did you have? Can you, can you show us what you have? Yes. A uh, double cheeseburger and with uh, fries. Double cheeseburger was great. French fries are awesome. Thank you. And what did you have? Chili Riano. Chili Riano. Wow. So That's good. Look at this. Bon appetit. Yes, Look at the machaca, the shredded beef. Great looking red peppers. Green peppers, sauteed onions. Homemade potatoes. Bon well appetit, everyone. And sauce. Enjoy. Sartén. Bon appetit. I have weakness for French fries. Oh, yeah. I mean, with five brothers. Look at the plate. Look at the plates. They're all finished. It's amazing. My huh? plate yeah, is all done. Yeah, I know. Done. Look at that. Huh? And what else? You, I, I, I don't think you like your dish. It's done. I don't like it at all. Yeah, you can't see nothing. And Sam, one, it one looked rice. like you didn't like your burger. Period. Burger is and you didn't like care much for the salad, did you? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> good, good job, good job, good job. Look at it. It's great. Again, Anita's Cafe, El Monte San Gabriel Valley Airport. Highly recommended. Okay, guys, we're talking to the owner. I want to tell you we had a great uh, meal today at your restaurant. So. Uh, compliment to the chef and Thank I so know much. Machaca is my favorite. Can you give us briefly uh, just the history about this restaurant? How long it's been here? What's your favorite item on the well, menu? We've been here for going on 16 years. 16 in couple, years? In a couple okay. months, 2005. Okay. Wow. Congratulations. Typical, you know, family operated diner, okay. you know, a little bit family of Mexican operated. American southwestern food. Okay. And you still now the best open? chile verde, the best menudo in town. Menudo. You know, menudo. next time I'm going to have menudo. That's good, man. You know, I should have had, is it every day available? Or? Only on the weekends. Only on the weekend, guys. Uh, and you I said the best the chile verde? Chile verde. Everything is good, but he's talking about like, right. the, like the most popular ones here. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No, it's about you to come out and check out uh, the check airport out. and enjoy your food. Beautiful airport. Even if you don't fly, just drive, bring your friends, yeah, whatever. Come out and enjoy the and scenery. And easy huh? access. And this is the inside. There is an outside. Eight to two, seven days a week, right? Eight to two for now, yeah. So okay. Okay. You could do it, but... Uh... And now we are leaving the uh, San Gabriel Valley Airport or El Monte Airport. Before we leave, we decided to take a little uh, stroll to burn off some of the calories at the airport. Look at some planes and come back and take off, go back to Corona Airport. So as we were walking around with the guys, you know, Pierre noticed his friend is yeah. here, Don. And uh, I know Pierre said he flew in with his friend here in this Nanchang CJ-6. And uh, it's a Chinese military trainer and still in service uh, until today. So again, guys, this is uh, the Chinese Nanchang or CJ-6. It's a nine cylinders. Uh, I was told that this plane can lose two cylinders and you wouldn't even feel it until annual. And it doesn't burn a lot of gas, about 14, 15 gallons an hour. And it's lighter than the Dakota. Piper uh, we do formation flybys every uh, fourth Sunday okay. at El Monte. So if you guys show up to watch, uh, okay. chances are you will catch us uh, doing a flyby over the runway in formation. Okay. Bring it over to Corona, please, one day. <laughs> sure. I will be, well, and this I mean, is if Oscar. You guys have an event, just let us know. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, hospitality, guys. No problem. Chase, Chase, Chase. Anytime. Anytime. 
Okay guys, have a good flight. You're going to uh, Cable? Yeah. Charlie, Charlie, bravo. Straight to Cable. Bye John. See you guys later. Uh, you guys have a nice flight. Same to you. Number 610 for your flight following the Corona. Maintain at or below 3,000 feet until SoCal approach advises. Departure frequency 125.5. Squawk 0274. And the quarter to 9610 restricted to 3,000 feet until advised by SoCal. And uh, departure frequency 125.5. Squawk 0274. Tower 610, read back, correct contact, uh, tower, we need for departure. 610, thank you for the hospitality, take care.